you're back with us and a uh, question maybe now uh, about the what what is it that Chris has gained because they now can feed two imports at the same time the the, the reason for uh, their being uh, the more favored team right now is in fact because they can feed two imports at the same time things that will happen will be this that they will take away a lot from the imports of the RTO and these uh, what are the what are the good things that the RTO imports uh, doing one more is supposed to be a terror on rebounds and defense and the other is pounds is a terror in as far as shooting is concerned but right now in the first half more has been doing a good job on rebounding pounds has been doing a good job on scoring but there is something that has happened pounds is no longer rebounding as well because this this in fact has been a big factor in the past games of the RTO in the second conference when Moore is neutralized, Pounds can take up the slack in scoring. But with two imports right now faced on the other opposite squad, Pounds cannot rebound as well. And yes. this has helped the Chris Pauletmanizers a lot. The two imports neutralize each other in this third conference. There's a loose ball foul committed by Yoyo Martires on Irv Chapman. 20 seconds gone by in this pivotal third quarter with a count at 53-51 for the walk tall gene makers. Bounce pass for Crispa. Denisha receives. Hubalde gets it back. Hakutin watching Freddy Hubalde. There's a fake by Hubalde. He taps it over to Chapman. Chapman gives it to Ko. Ko fires and misses. The ball bounces back to Hakutin. Long cross court pass. Torrente from Arteris. The handoff goes to Pounds. Pounds. Almost went for the basket that time, but Chapman was watching him closely. Torrente passes back to Moore. Moore making his move, but he traveled. He lifted his pivot foot, and that was spotted by referee Joe Bias for a turnover. Pound showing respect for the defense of Chapman. Still 53-51. No basket made so far in this third quarter. Dionisha over to Hobalde. Hobalde one and one against Marlo Hakutin, but Moore is double teaming. Bounce pass to Cole. There is a whistle again. Another contact spotted by referee Marquez. Martires acknowledges the foul. Ten minutes and 54 seconds to go. It's 53 to 51. The walk tall team for Crispa with a two-point advantage. Adeco, crowded by Torrente, he pivots and misses on the try. Torrente snatches that loose ball. Ten minutes and 45 seconds left in the third quarter. This is the main game in the opening day doubleheader of the PBA Third Conference. Torrente misses from the outside, and Paul gives it to Dionisio. Ten minutes and a half left. 53-51, low-scoring game. Obalde crowded and fouled by Hakutin. It'll be a front court throw for the Crispa walk tall combination. Freddy Obalde will inbound. Ten minutes and 25 seconds left. There's a fadeaway try by Harris, and he gets the ball back, totters at the baseline and rifles the pass to Ko. Ko with a fake, and he misses again. Atoy Ko, missing twice from top of the key. 10 minutes and 10 seconds left. Fortune Cookie doesn't look good tonight. Hakutin follows up, misses again. It's Chapman holding on to his mouth, and there's a steal by Martires off Atoy Ko, coming in off the blind side of the Fortune Cookie. Chapman Bounce. is disturbed. Under the basket, Hakutin finally connects on the layup. It looks like he may have lost a tooth there. Chapman probing with his tongue. Looks like he got a hard knock on the mouth on that last rebound play. Obalde's pass deflected, almost lost. Martires screened away by Harris over to Koch. Koch lays up, makes it. 55 to 53. It's a Nine tough, minutes and a half to go. Tough contest, all right. Yo, your mantras will agree with you readily, Evie. Yes, indeed. But it's like a rubber ball. He bounces back. Otto Moore at the low post. Torrente given the setup pass, and he converts. 55 all. Nine minutes and 10 seconds remaining. This is the third quarter. Obalde against Hakutin. Swivels around, fires, using the glass for the hit. 57 to 55. Obalde. One of the few players who have mastered that glass ricochet shot. There's a charging foul by Larry Pounds. He is kind of fun of that. Charging foul. And the Crispa fans are uh, asking the referees to charge Larry Pounds a technical for slamming that ball. 
57 to 55, yes. Substitutions, and this is a surprise. Valencia, who very fittingly plays for Royal True Orange. <laughs> Walk is coming in for the first time, replacing Marlo Hakutin. Eight minutes and 50 seconds left. 57 to 55. Loose ball recovered by Otto Moore. Good ball hawking by Valencia on Freddy Hubalde. Valencia sees action pretty sparingly for True Orange. Harris getting that rebound. Dionisio has it. Forward now to Hubalde. Two-point lead by the walk tall gene makers. Eight minutes and 25 seconds left. Third quarter. Fabios is in. And there is a foul by Torrente on Hubalde. Foul, Torrente. Torrente picks a foul, number one. Eight minutes and 23 seconds to go, 57 to 55. We've got the walk tall team with a two-point advantage. The action in the front court of Crispa, Dionisio. Taps it over to Hubalde. Hubalde watched by Torrente. There's a bounce pass. Fabiosa tapping it back. Very tight defense by Drew Orange, resulting in another foul. This foul time by Torrente. Torrente. Torrente picks up the foul. It should be foul number two on Torrente. Come Thursday, we shall be having Miss Melanie Marquez, the Philippines, foul. bet to the Miss International Contest in Tokyo. Who won the title? Yes, and she'll be accompanied by... Miss Anna Rapna of USA, first runner-up, Elizabeth Smith of Austria, the second runner-up, and Kate Elizabeth Nyberg of Finland, third runner-up. Also, we've got Miss Hikeko Haba of Japan, fourth runner-up. They will be in a ticker tape parade down Ayala Avenue immediately after arrival. That's Ayala Avenue in Makati, a highlight of the welcome arrangements for the new Philippine International Beauty Queen and her companions. They will also... Uh, Make a courtesy call on Minister of Tourism, Jose de Espiras, and Mayor Nemesho Yabo. Yes, sir. Exchange of baskets by Dionisio for Crispa and Valencia, who connected on the run. 59-57 for the Walk Tall, Quintet Chapman. Over to Ko. Ko with a fake pounce, picking him up. Dionisio goes for the basket. It's short. Recovery made by Harris. He fades away for the connection. 61 to 57. Four-point advantage now by Crispa. Harris fitting very well with the game style of Crispa. That's right. It seems as though there is no transition period at all for Harris. And that's Valencia again connecting onto the basket. Left open by his man. 61 to 59. The surprise package of Edo Campo. Valencia. Got a very musical sounding name that fits perfectly with Royal True Orange. Torrente to pounds for the layup and the hit. 61 all. Six minutes and 40 seconds left in this pivotal third. Fabiosa yelling out the play to his teammates. Atoiko getting a screen and he sinks it. Harris providing the assist. Six minutes and a half to go. 63 61. It's still two points by Crispa. Torrente to Pounds. Pounds seems to be pacing himself. Not as effective as he was in the first half. Valencia crowded by Ko. He gives it to Pounds. Pounds in the corner with Chapman sagging out in him. They've only got three seconds to make the cry. Pounds misses. And there's a spill by Harris, but Ko gets the tap. Ko against Torrente. Harris is all right. The attempt and the miss by Ko, followed up by Chapman for two. The hard-working Irv Chapman gives the Crispa Walk Tall team a four-point advantage. And that's five to sixty-one. That situation very shows the bonus that the Crispa recognizes as for having two imports. With Harris down there in the backcourt, there was Chapman for the offensive recovery at the opposite end. We've got a timeout. The action resumes in the front court of True Orange with Pounds firing from left quarter court and hitting. 65 to 63. This is the first playing day of the PBA Third Conference, and you're watching this coverage live and in color over GTV4 by the facilities of NFTC Sports. Harris on the flank, retaliating. 67 to 63. That's a kind of touch from the outside that can really give Baltimore problems if he has to take on Harris. Five minutes and 15 seconds left. Larry Pounds being cheered on by the very pretty candidates for Miss Magnolia. Harris pulling down a miss, five pounds. Five minutes and two seconds left. Fabiosa drops in, laying up and missing off Otto Moore. Moore over to Valencia. 
Valencia leans in, and we've got Chapman toppling, rather Harris toppling over Dionisio. And there's a charge by Valencia for a turnover. Four minutes and 53 seconds to go, 67 to 63. There's the inbound to Coy. Coy is open for the attempt, and the hit. Supreme confidence on that drive by Coy. There was nobody there except Odom Moore for the possible recovery, the sure recovery if he missed. But he fired and made it, 69 to 63. Torrente over to Valencia at the low post. Valencia connects, off call. Valencia certainly holding his own in one of his rare appearances for True Orange. 69 to 65, Dionisio, crowded by Torrente. He gives it back to Harris. Harris trying to draw out, Autumn Moore gives it back to Dionisio. Ate Ko with a head and shoulder fake, drives in off Valencia, he's out of the basket, and he connects. 71 to 65. Kind of hard to stop when he get, once he gets going, that's Ate Ko. Pounds, harassed, getting away from Chapman, and he's double teamed by Harris for a partial block by Harris. You and can certainly see in the way these players are performing that every game counts, and they count a lot in this third conference. You can't afford to play around. Dionisio with a pass that was deflected for Biasa to call. Caught driving in. Drop pass, he recovers, he is blocked, and there's a foul. Possibly by Moore. It could be Moore or Valencia's contact. But yes. Moore is the one who is given the foul. First foul by Otto Moore, and this is the seventh, uh, or the penalty situation already enforced against the true Orangeman. They're down by six points right now at 71 to 65 with three minutes and 42 seconds to go. Atoiko at the line. Yes, the hit by Atoiko. Do you know that Atoiko has attended the Ms. Magnolia show three times, and uh, I just wanted to know why. It's fun of ice cream. Uh, it's fun of ice cream. Ice cream, huh? Yeah, okay. Three minutes and 42 seconds to go, 72 to 65. There's the hit by Atoiko. He knows that his friends are here. You know, that's what these girls were doing a while ago. If you what? ask them what they were doing, they'd say, ice cream. <laughs> that's what they were doing a while ago. <laughs> but now they're silent because yes. True Orange is behind. That's right. Eight points. Now they all look like popsicles. Okay. Three and 24 to go. We've got 65, 73. They'll win. They'll win. Okay. That's what you call optimism. Pounds, fires, and... Simultaneously, the 25-second buzzer sounds for a turnover, and we've got a timeout. Big factor for his team right now. Very good decision by maybe the Lupa to get him into the squad, because right now he's helping a lot. He's not helping a lot only on scoring. He's been doing a lot of defensive rebounding, and his defensive rebounding has made the local score. So it's really true that Harris is... Uh, a uh, pretty powerful potential against Otto Moore. Hobalde missing out of the basket. And Martires gets a pass from Moore. Torrentin on the front court for the Orange. Atutin back on the lineup. He fires and misses. Loose ball recovered by Martires over to Torrente. Akutin from left quarter court sinks it. 73 to 67. Lead of Crispa down to six points. Two minutes and 38 seconds remain in the pivotal third quarter. Dionisio driving in. The pass goes to Harris. Back again to Dionisio. Dionisio to Fabiosa. Fabiosa, left side of the key, hands off to Hubalde. They've got five seconds to make the attempt. Hubalde goes for it and misses. Moore with a lead pass going to Torrente. Torrente connects from the line. And we've got the cheers again alive at our right side. 73 to 69. Two minutes and six seconds left. Third quarter. Play number three yelled out by Herb Chapman. Harris making his move against Otto Moore. Harris at the post gives it to Hubalde. Hubalde fires and it's short. The tap goes to Martires from Pounds. It's a rally by the Orangemen. They're behind by just four points. Pounds harassed. He gives it to Martires. Bounce pass going back to Pounds. And it's a tap. Recovered by Crispa. Fabiosa goes for the basket. Off to the left and out. Moore has it. A minute and a half left. Four-point advantage by Crispa, but True Orange has possession. Torrente to Moore. His pass deflected by Fabiosa. Recovered by Pounds. Martires to Torrente. Torrente watched by Dionisio. Crowded by Fabiosa. And a loose ball is recovered by Martires. Moore could not stoop down to recover that loose ball from the outside a long miss 
That's why you need small men too in games like these. And that's another defensive rebound by Harrison. The reason why he's getting a lot of defensive rebound is because he doesn't have to worry about Morris outside shooting. And Harris is connecting from the outside on the other hand. That's right. That's why Moore has to worry about his outside shooting. 52 seconds to go, and it's six points by Chris Bob. Chapman pulling down another miss by Drew Orange. They're outside shooting, suffering in the closing minutes of this third period. A follow-up by Harris on a miss by Fabiosa. Harris is good for Chris Bob. 77 to 69, the lead is up to eight again. And there's a deflected pass, deflected by Dionisio. It's gonna be some kind of a holiday on Thursday down Ayala Avenue with a ticker tape parade for the International Beauties. For the Miss International, our very own Melanie Marquez about lunchtime, about 12.30 or one o'clock will be going down that way. And you are most welcome to participate in the festivity. You can prepare some ticker tape, something like, uh, you know, all those confetti. And uh, if you're down at the 11th floor or 10th floor, look down and take a look and participate. It's going to be some kind of a holiday to welcome our Miss International for 1979, Melanie Marquez. You're invited to join in. This will be at around 1 o'clock in the afternoon as uh, the Miss International ladies will be coming in at 12.15 from Tokyo so join in 21 seconds to go 77 69 that's gonna be on Thursday this coming Thursday Harris in possession for Crispa pass goes to Ubalde 12 seconds left in this third quarter eight-point lead enjoyed by the walk tall quintet Harris misses Hakutin has it long pass going to Martyrus drop pass for pounds and there is a traveling violation says referee Marquez with two seconds to go the smarters have eyes in the back of his head. Chapman fires and almost had it. That would have been counted. So at the end of three quarters, it's 77 for the Walk Tall Quintet. Again, 69 for True Orange. We'll be back after the...